Collection notes have historically been the hub of collections management, serving as a core functionality to this now robust solution. At the highest level, notes allow users to keep history, track conversation, and create action on invoices. And as you'll see in this demo, notes can also double as follow-up tasks. From Collections Main, we'll demo how easy it is to create a note and assign it to an invoice. You can see a list of existing notes from the bottom of Collections Main, but we're going to select Create New Note. First thing you'll see when the note is created is the date and time this was initially logged. The note will also display the caller ID, the user who created the note, then the address and contact person for the customer. You can also assign different priority levels. The bottom portion of the window is all open text field where you type your note. We move over to the right side of the window and assign the note an action. Actions can be past, present, or future activities and can be predefined by your organization. We see some examples including checks in the mail, sent to collections, and disputing an invoice. Remember these are configurable. Each action can be categorized with an action type. Let's say in this case the customer told us payments on its way. The action date field can be used to leverage the note as a follow-up. An open task will be created and sent to a queue in collections. More on that in a minute. Next we'll select the invoice this note relates to. This will attach the note to one or multiple AR documents. From my transaction list I check the document and you'll notice the total action amount is populated. Note this can be adjusted for partial payments. Notes also have revision history for review of changes or updates over the life cycle of the note. Back on Collections Main, users have a transaction drill down from any aging bucket and from the total due field. This is an open AR transaction list that now has nice visual cues provided by your collection notes. The information icon lets you know a note is attached to the document. There are also letters indicating action types with corresponding totals at the bottom. D denotes a dispute, S denotes there's a special circumstance, and P denotes the invoice has been promised for payment. Promise payment notes are unique in that if an action date expires, the P changes to a B, denoting a broken promise. The Collections Management Task Window organizes follow-ups created from notes to help ensure prompt collections. All outstanding action items for a particular collector can be viewed in this window. Individual notes can be opened, executed, then marked complete. Task lists can also be reviewed by collector ID. However, if no ID is selected, it will display all open tasks in the system. You can sort this list by action date or action ID. The Mark Paid option will automatically mark outstanding invoices complete if all invoices attached have been paid in full. The function saves collectors from manually having to check whether or not a customer has paid each outstanding invoice. There are several ways we can report on notes and note fields. One simple application is to run the collection notes smart list included in each standard build. The list includes several different columns by default, including action promised, action date, and a note display string so users can see what's been written. Further edits and changes can be made in the column settings. Users also have the Collections Management Reports window to print the Aging Amounts with Notes report and the Notes by Customer report. The Aging Amounts with Notes report displays all of the aging information with the notes listed. The Notes by Customer report displays the notes for a group of customers. As you can see, users can filter these reports by query, credit manager, action type, and date range.